From the iron gall prose of our nation's founding documents to the iconic works of humanity's great authors, to sketches of artists like da Vinci and Raphael, even the codification of great civilizations themselves, swaths of iconic history have been made possible by something as simple as ink. Pens, the vessel that carry this pigment, have come a long way since the very first iterations, and now, like virtually everything else, there are thousands of different models for sale, only a click away. So which one is right for you? Well, we've sorted through a laundry list of our favorites and have rounded up our top picks for the best EDC pens, carefully compiling a curated list starting with a number of budget-friendly picks and ending with the most premium of the lot. So let's dive right in. First things first, a pen is an everyman's tool. In fact, a lot of the gear we cover are tools that should be accessible, income aside. That's why we always make it a point to provide wallet-friendly picks right out of the gate that don't sacrifice on quality. As our best affordable EDC pen, the Zebra F701 is a stainless steel butte you'd be able to find for just over $5 in virtually every big box store, like Staples, for example. Based in Japan, Zebra has roots dating back to 1914 and has been expanding their catalog ever since. The F701 proves that you can purchase a durable EDC pen without having to resort to a multi-pack of plastic ballpoint picks. From tip to clip, the F701 is stainless steel through and through with attractive full brushing, a neural grip point, and a highly polished pocket clip secured at the top. The F701 is a click pen where a button mechanism on the top deploys and then retracts a cartridge. In this case, a Zebra B22 refill with a 0.8mm ballpoint you can change via the pen's threaded tip. Dimensionally, the F701 is really standard at 5.25 inches in length, super balanced in hand with a heavyweight feel courtesy of its durable full metal build, and it glides across the paper smoothly without any resistance. If you're looking for a just get this budget pick, this is your ticket. Like Zebra, Parker has a history that extends back more than a century, precisely 1888 in Janesville, Wisconsin, USA. Up until 2009, Parker kept operations local until a dramatic about phase when the majority of their manufacturing moved to France as a result of a buyout. Unfortunately, over 300 US jobs were lost, and as much as that pains us, Parker was an important part of US manufacturing history, and it still makes incredible products from their current HQ in Europe. Because of its history, the Parker Jotter Ballpoint is our pick for the best old school pen. In 1954, Parker began producing these ballpoint units and they quickly became a cult sensation. So much so, just take a look back at Seasons of Mad Men, and Parkers are everywhere in offices of Sterling, Cooper, and Partners. Why the best old school pick, you say? Well, if the tidbit of history above wasn't enough to convince, the design itself has barely changed in almost 70 years. The pen sports extremely clean lines, a sleek tapered barrel shape, a pocket clip with arrow embossing, and frankly, this is the perfect pen for someone who loves the mid-century design language, someone that's rocking the Laurier Hyperion GMT on the wrist, or for anyone working in a white-collar environment. Which is really to say, the Parker Jotter just emits old-school swagger in a way most modern pens fall short, and all for about $15. The full-size pen uses a Parker Quick Flow Ballpoint cartridge, and is fully compatible with Parker Gel refills as well. We can report, after using it during testing, that the Jotter flows across the paper in a way that definitely doesn't scream $15. If it were a blind test, we would have probably guessed something easily two to three times the price. And one more cool bullet point before we move on. The Parker is now made with 77% recycled materials, so you can feel 77% good about your purchase. A fountain pen's ancient ancestors, the quill, or even more simply, a feather, have been used by mankind for thousands of years. Earliest known accounts so far point to the scribes of the Dead Sea Scrolls using quills dipped in pigment. However, it really wasn't until the 18th century that metal nibs and reservoirs were used together, replacing the long history of dipping a feather in ink. Fast forward even more, and now fountain pens have virtually all but disappeared, once cheaper ballpoints saturated the market. C. Josef Lamy founded Lamy in 1930 in Heidelberg, Germany. Lamy's old world and new world pen designs have a blend of classic craftsmanship, minimalist Bauhaus ethos, and comfort for extended writing. The Lamy Safari is our pick for the best fountain pen, as it's one that's easy to write with, extremely attractive for EDC, and comes with a very accessible price point just north of $20. Obviously, fountain pens aren't built the same as a click or twist pen, which use replaceable preloaded ink cartridges. They have a large liquid reservoir instead, usually. However, the Lamy Safari fountain pen actually does use cartridges, as Lamy has found a way to infuse the ballpoint pen convenience into the vintage form of a fountain pen. Ours here has a Lamy T10 cartridge, but you can also outfit the fountain pen with a Z24 cartridge converter, essentially converting it back to the fountain pen's original form. 
As with the Z24 converter, you're able to refill the pen from an ink bottle without needing to swap the cartridge. You also get a choice between an extra fine, fine, medium, or broad nib depending on your application. For writing, we think the medium suits best, but if you're picking this up for any sort of calligraphy or sketching, the nibs can be purchased individually from Lamy, and we'd just recommend picking up the whole set. We're in love with the pocket clip on this guy. It has a paper clip-like vibe, a wiry essence, only stronger, obviously. Lamy's also built in a cartridge window, so you're able to keep tabs on the ink level as you write along. If Uncle Leo hasn't already gifted you this next pick, then you're gonna want to check out this pen. Our best space pen pick goes to the Fisher Space Bullet Pen, a classic ballpoint pen with a pressurized cartridge that caught the eye of NASA back in 1967. Who doesn't love EDC gear with a rad piece of history attached? It's like the Omega Speedmaster. In fact, the Fisher Space Pen may be THE EDC pen to pair with the Speedy, now that we think of it. Anyway, back in 67 during the Apollo missions, NASA needed a reliable writing instrument better than a pencil to use in space, and after seeing that Fisher spent over a million dollars of their own funding on the R&D of what would later be called the Fisher Space Pen, NASA purchased 400 units at a price point of just $6 each. The trick here is a pressurized ink cartridge that could and still can function in a weightless environment, underwater, in other liquids like water, oil, or grease, and in temperature extremes ranging from negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 250 degrees Fahrenheit. As cool and space agey as it looks on the outside, the pressurized cartridge here is really what you're paying for. Although this unit is powder coated matte black, the pen is constructed from brass underneath, making it far more corrosion resistant than a stainless steel unit would be. And of course, now the history. Writing with a pen tip downward with Earth's gravity isn't an issue. The G-Force naturally pulls the ink down through the ballpoint tip as you put pen to paper. The issue is writing in any other direction, which many do for a slew of different reasons and in a slew of different situations. But you don't need to go to space to use a space pen, obviously. There are a litany of difficult writing tasks right here on terra firma that make having a space pen handy, writing upside down being the most obvious. In terms of refills, once the ink runs dry, your best bet is to just pick up a dedicated Fisher replacement from their site, which can be found for about 8 bucks. For EDC, the space pen is one of the smallest on our list at just 3.77 inches when closed, making it one hell of a pocket companion. Now, as important as function is, you have to enjoy looking at a pen if you're going to carry it around every day. I mean, that goes for all EDC gear, correct? So then, our best design pick goes to new kid on the block named the Burwell by the Oregon-based knife company and EDC supplier, the James Brand. As the James Brand's second click pen venture, the Burwell follows up 2016's The Benton, a limited edition EDC pen that had striking similarities to what we see now with the Burwell, like the slim, full stainless steel build with ample brushing, small dotted machining for grip, and a durable, integrated stainless steel pocket clip. This time around, the pocket clip is even more integrated than the last. It's quite literally machined in as part of the pen infrastructure built into the top via threads. As was the case with the Benton, it simply jutted out from the interior. The Burwell uses a handsome looking full steel outer machine from 303 Stainless and beautifully matches the rest of the James Brand's extremely well-designed EDC catalog. As we've said in our other guides, minimalism and simplicity is hard to pull off. The more you strip away, the better you have to execute what remains. This is no small task, but the James Brand has proven time and time again their mastery of the genre. Case in point, the simple yet effective grid of dot-like grip points near the pen's tip. Not much to it, but so well executed with clean machining for a great user experience. It goes without saying that EDC needs to be maintained week to week or month to month at the very least, and we could see the inset dots filled with dirt and grime quite quickly, but that really goes for every one of our picks with heavily machined grip points, and perhaps a bit difficult to clean out, but this hasn't been an issue for us yet. Anyway, the Burwell uses a Parker style G2 cartridge which is highly popular, so finding refills once your James Brand variant runs out shouldn't be an issue. So far, most of our picks have been stainless steel, minus the brass space pen from Fisher. It makes sense, stainless is cheap, it's attractive, it's easy to machine, and it's been used in the space for decades. However, it's not necessarily the best for EDC, as great as it can be. Titanium, as a lighter, more durable metal, is arguably one of the most sought after metals for EDC, and as such, for pens. Our best titanium pen pick goes to the Big Idea Design Titanium Pocket Pro Pen, that wields titanium to its advantage in a featherweight, compact form factor ideal for everyday carry. Now, titanium won't come cheap. The Big Idea Design Titanium Pocket Pro Pen is only 4.11 inches long, but it retails for about $75. However, 
First, your afforded weight savings. The Pocket Pro Pen is just 0.6 ounces or about 17 grams in hand with the cartridge. Second is durability. The titanium Big Idea design uses grade 5 titanium, which is far stronger than conventional 316L stainless steel with a tumbled matte finish. Also, it's modular, and it's a really cool feature. At its most compact, the Pocket Pro Pen does maintain the 4-inch size, but it can telescope to accommodate larger rollerball cartridges, extending the overall length just a touch over half an inch. Big Idea Design says operation is as simple as unscrewing the body, popping in your favorite Parker or rollerball style refill, and tightening it up. So we tried just that, and truth be told, this is a very fair assessment. The Pocket Pro Pen natively ships with a Schneider Galeon 0.7mm gel cartridge, but Parker and rollerball refills are suitable as well. But the cartridge doesn't move when writing without any adjustments, and the housing feels secure, comfortable in hand, and really light, obviously because of the titanium. They even outfitted the inner threads with a silicone o-ring to give the Pocket Pen Pro some resistance to moisture. But there's no official documented IP rating, so proceed with caution. While the body is grade 5 titanium, for proper tension and elasticity, the pocket clip is one step down, grade 4, but uses the exact same rough out finish as the body, so there's absolutely no discernible difference in color or texture. There are really two to three main styles of pen cartridge deployments, twist and click, and fixed blades of the pen world that use caps, alright, and maybe bolt action pens, with equal quantities of fans in each camp. But we don't discriminate, each has their merits and each have applications that are more suited than the others. However, if you forced us to choose, we'd probably say the classic click pen. It's simple, it's highly effective with very few moving parts, and has the fidgety EDC goodness that twist pens lose out on sometimes. Our best click pen pick goes to the Machine Era Titanium Field Pen that combines precise aerospace grade machining with premium materials for EDC click pen supremacy, devoid of any plastic parts. There are a few tricks to make that happen. The unibody design allows for an upper threaded cap instead of a lower tip cap to replace the cartridge, in which a ball and channel mechanism firmly holds the cartridge in place. And with that comes your choice of Parker or Schmidt refills. And if you're wondering, the Field Era pen does come with a standard Schmidt Easy Flow. This 1 ounce 6AL4V titanium click pen builds in a grade 5 titanium pocket clip, ours here in an anodized blue finish, and uses a sequence of stacked square cut grip points. We love that there are very few moving parts unless you disassemble the upper click mechanism. No seams, no risk of movement with a grade 5 titanium pocket clip, and easily tightenable with a beefy hex screw. And the click mechanism at the top is super satisfying and super smooth. Also, keep an eye out on Machine Era's site, since version 2 of the Machine Era Field Pen was just made possible by a fully funded Kickstarter campaign, and we expect them to come out soon to replenish version 1's stock. Alright, if you've recently received a promotion from the cubicle into a plush office complete with a door that shuts out your nosy co-workers, it may be time to upgrade from the Parker Jotter to something a bit more premium, and boy do we have a recommendation. Our best desk and office pen pick is the Grove Made Pen, this one in brass and full of white collar swagger with a touch of vintage charm. The Grove Made Pen is a twist pen, but not in typical form. Usually the twist mechanism happens towards the pen's tip, not always, but usually. The Grove Made Pen actually subverts this build characteristic and uses what looks like a click mechanism at the top, but instead of clicking, it twists with a satisfying action to deploy the cartridge tip. The Grove Made Pen comes in a few different premium materials. Ours here is the brass version, and it's swanky with beautiful attention to detail. But it's not just the physical presentation that secured the pen as our best desk or office pen pick, but its function as well. Pens are usually round, at the very least generally cylindrical, and when you mate that shape with a flat surface like a desk, 9 times out of 10 the desk won't be completely level causing the pen to roll across the surface and then onto the floor. The Grove Made Pen uses a completely flat chamfer that runs the length of the outer brass housing allowing the pen to remain in place on a desk or flat surface. A very simple bit of forethought by Grove Made, but it makes sense for a great user experience. The 5.65 inch length and 0.41 inch diameter build in full brass also gives the Grove Made Pen significant heft in hand, so it feels tangibly premium whenever you pick it up from the desk and wield it to write. Inside the Grove Made Pen ships with a 0.6mm fine tip Schmidt P8126 rollerball black ink cartridge, and refills are conveniently found virtually everywhere. It's oftentimes very difficult to capture the unique, tangible details of a product on camera. There are truly some things you have to experience firsthand for the full experience. Something we love about the Grove Made Pen is the preservation of the raw material by leaving the subtle machining lines intact, which are finished and elevated by hand polishing on each unit. 
It's this attention to detail, the user experience combined with the flat chamfer, the audible but tangible seating of the heavy twist mechanism, that all make the Grove Made pen special and noteworthy, as there are a slew of other very capable brass pens floating in the ether. Although we don't have a unit on hand to show you today, Grove Made makes a matching brass and American black walnut stand in case you'd like to store the pen in a more formal, vertical manner. Pens are one of those EDC objects that can easily double as a fidget device to keep the overactive mind and body occupied. One of the most satisfying, and frankly badass methods for fidget integration is in the form of a tactical bolt-action deployment that mimics the action of a classic bolt-action rifle, albeit in a more compact form. Our pick for the best bolt-action pen goes to Tactile Turn, who makes a very hard-wearing bolt-action pen with highbrow design cues all wrapped up in an EDC-friendly, beautifully machined titanium shell. The bolt-action mechanism comes in a number of different shapes and forms. Each manufacturer has their own unique spin, but the operation is usually quite similar from unit to unit. The cartridge is directly deployed or retracted by engaging or disengaging the bolt connected to a bolt handle. This bolt usually runs along a straight track and then sits within a lock, usually just a simple back channel to prevent the bolt from slipping back to its original position with the help of a strong internal spring. There are U-shaped, J-shaped, V-shaped, and L-shaped bolt action tracks, all of which achieve the same end, to lock the cartridge in place. In the case of the Tactile Turn bolt action pen, we're provided a J-shaped unit built into the Tactile Turn standard 5.6 inch titanium shell. Tactile Turn offers a shorter 5.1 inch pen and a mini size of 4.4 inches as well. And if titanium isn't quite what you're looking for, even though it's our personal preference for a lightweight EDC friendly user experience, there's a bronze option, a copper option, and a very unique dark gray zirconium option. If you use a bolt action piece of EDC gear, pen aside, you'll know that there can be some issues with machining tolerances. Part of the reason why we chose the tactile turn bolt action pen specifically is the mastery in this vein. The action is ridiculously smooth, which points directly to a pen machined to very precise exacting tolerances. If you look closely, the attention to detail like our last pick from Grove Made also allows the pen to take on an elegant ruggedness with subtle machining lines elevated by chamfers on the bolt and on the edges of the bolt arm track itself. The full size 5.6 inch pen comes with a Pilot G2 0.7mm refill, one of the most standard on our list by far. But the bolt action pen is also compatible with over 15 standard Pilot, Lamy, Schneider, and Faber Castell refills. And take a look at this. The seam all but disappears within the machining, giving the tactile turn pen a billet-like appearance. Securing this pen to your pocket or anywhere on your person is a stainless steel clip that can be engraved by the tactile turn team, making this pen a very good gifting option as you approach the holidays. We're following up our best bolt action pick with our best tactical EDC pen pick. Because bolt action doesn't imply tactical, case in point with the elevated tactile turn, and tactical doesn't always imply bolt action. There are a lot of tough looking tactical pens, but the best of the best go beyond the external and function as well as hard wearing utility tools with a sharp point for breaking glass or to use as a self defense weapon. The investigator pen from Hinderer Knives, born from the mind of Rick Hinderer himself, is our pick for the best tactical pen. It's one that's been around for just over a decade and one that continues to impress despite the steep competition year after year. The Investigator Pen from Hinderer Knives, born from the mind of Rick Hinderer himself, is our pick for the best tactical pen. One that's been around since at least as long as we have, and one that continues to impress despite the steep competition year after year. Let's take you through why this one is one of our favorite tactical pens. First, the look and feel. Hinderer uses a stonewashed stainless steel that gives the Investigator a rugged, matted look, without going overboard. In other words, the stainless steel maintains its brightness despite its stonewashed finish. Next, the machining for grip. As the investigator is both a pen and a self-defense utility tool, it will be held in two different ways. A normal writing grip and a full in-hand palm style grip when wielding as a weapon or a glass breaking tool. As such, the investigator has both horizontal grooves and vertical grooves. The horizontal ones framing the vertical grip point help with the full hand grip, while the vertical machining is purpose built for extended writing. Now the investigator uses a double-sided system. On one end, there are threads for a few different utility caps that you can pick up, like the sharp point here, and on the 180, a threaded cap protects the pen tip, which in this case is an internal Fisher Space Pen pressurized cartridge. As overbuilt, their words, not ours, and tough looking as the investigator is, it's built with care. Each component of the 4 and a quarter 303 stainless steel version is machined with state-of-the-art CNC and CAD CAM tech. As a last note, the investigator largely took the top spot because of the modular design. 
You'll have a hard time finding another tactical pen that provides the opportunity to swap tips, let alone with this much attention to detail and finish. It's a sad reality that many are confined to desk positions in the 21st century technology-driven economy. With this can come a good amount of stress or anxiety, boredom or even restlessness. You could say that the very first fidget was the stress ball, released in the late 80s aimed at creating a productive instead of destructive way to alleviate stress. Long story short, a fidget is any sort of device that can click, spin, twirl, slide, or rock to keep the body engaged and the mind more relaxed. Pens, with their built-in twist and click deployments have become natural fidgets, and the EDC fidget space has a number of great models. Our pick for the best fidget pen goes to Refine, whose EP1 stainless steel pen comes with two fidget-friendly features. The first is the bolt-action mechanism, and even though it didn't take our top spot in that specific category, the bolt and bolt arm within the V-shaped track is insanely satisfying to fidget with. Second is the PS1 pen stand, which builds in a spinner into the base. Made from aircraft-grade aluminum and solid copper, the spinning mechanism is made possible by an R188 cageless ball bearing system and a heavy copper body, a combination that provides enough momentum for a spin time of up to 3 minutes. The PS1 stand has a conical shape with open machining at the top to hold the EP1 bolt-action pen vertically. Now focusing our attention back on the pen. The EP1 comes in two different lengths. The longer full-size version is called the EP1L. The regular EP1 is an EDC-friendly 4.53 inches in length with a removable deep carry pocket clip, a copper piston bolt action deployant, compatibility with most Parker G2 style refills, and uses custom Torx T6 hardware. In an age when desk life is often pretty damn dull, the refined EP1 with a fidget-friendly PS1 stand can help bring a bit of fun to the table. So that's a wrap for our roundup of our favorite EDC pens. There is no doubt a long list of additional favorites we just didn't have time to include in this video, but head over to our editorial guide and take a look at a few more. And as always, drop us a line below with your favorites if we missed any here.